Hi guys, I am here with the Sulai SL7. I'm here to just do a quick video again. This is going to be a video response to other videos that I made. Um, I recorded those with my digital camera and of course the video quality on them isn't that great so I'm just going to make this one with the screen capture so you can actually see what I'm doing on my computer a little easier but you won't be able to see what I'm doing on the device so I'll just kind of say that out loud as what I'm doing okay the first thing we're going to do is how to set up the SL7 to be able to flash the device with a ROM or you know upgrading the firmware this is what we're gonna do first go to slatedroid.com once you're there, click Forms. Let that load up. Once that loads up, go ahead and scroll down. You'll see the forms, Slate Droid, Community, Android Tablet OS. Just keep going until you see Rock Chip 2818. Here we go. Rock chip 2808 slash 2818. What you're going to do is right here where it says Rock chip 2818 tablets, you're going to click this. It will load up, and right here you're going to have a bunch of different topics going on. Um, one, just the about the Rock Chip 2818, different devices, all right? And just so y'all know, there's about, let's see, one, two, there are four ROMs on here that you can use for the SUI SL7. Of course, you can also use them for the WoPad. And these are all for capacitive. Um, I think. There's the Relax version 1.4 that you see right here. It says for capacitive screen. Um, that one's just for capacitive. Now this one right here, Slate Droid Steel, for capacitive slash resistive screen. Okay, so most of these ROMs are just for capacitive. What you would have to do is go in and uh, unpack the ROM and actually put in the settings for a resistive touch screen. And if you're on this site right here, one of these guys in one of these topics like uh, I don't know how to say Lefedetu, um, but we just call him LEF. He could help you. You can send him a private message. Lionheart can help you. But some of the ROMs, uh, Wopad Froyo Custom ROM, that will work on the SUI SL7. It is Android 2.2. Now, the ROM still has some bugs in it, but Lionheart is working on those ROM, on that ROM and, you know, fixing it up. Um, so, right now, the best one I can re I recommend is either the Relax version 1.4 or the Slate Droid Steel. I personally love the Slate Droid Steel because it's a sweet looking theme going on with it. It's just, it's pretty cool and very responsive. So is the Relax 1.4. But those are three of them that you can download. Uh, there's, like, say if I clicked on this ROM, the Slate Droid Steel link, it'll show you right here. For proceedings of flash, please refer here. That's what I'm fixing to show y'all here in a sec. But it just tells you about the Slate Droid Steel, and here it is. Only for Wopad M7001 with capacitive screen. It's not only for Wopad. He's just saying that because he doesn't want anyone to break their devices or, you know, get onto him, anything like that. He is not responsible. So... But if you have a Rock Chip 2818 device with a capacitive screen, it should work. But just, just check it out. But the Sulai SL7, I have one. I've done all this. It will work. Now, there's still with no uh, Jithak, uh, Jithak. There's one with Jithak, and there's one with Jithak. No Google Map gaps. Um, I would do this one right here. The Slate Droid still with Jithak because it, it seems to be the fastest especially if you if you're a big Angry Birds fan everyone out there loves Angry Birds obviously
but you have to turn off the background animation, but it'll it'll work smoothly. So, that's just that, just showing you. Let me go back here. Another one is the Wopad Relax version 1.4. You can use that one for the SUI ISL7. Wopad Froyo Custom ROM, you can use that for the SUI ISL7. But, what I'm going to show you, it's farther down here. Flip3547 did this. It is how to flash a rooted ROM. You need to know how to build to flash your device before you can actually do this. Do any type of upgrading. So, click on how to flash a rooted ROM. Alright, scroll down. No one involved in this post is responsible for any damage to any devices. Flash at your own risk. Blah, 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 blah. Alright. So, you will need this tool to proceed. Click this. It will pop up. And it is a download for RK Tools. So click here to start the download. And then you need to extract once it finishes download, ex extract the files into somewhere on your computer, you know, desktop, wherever that you will remember. Okay? And I have done that already. Right here. RK Tools. You're gonna open that up. It has the 2818 driver, 20 uh, RK Android batch upgrade, RK Android tool, and the AFP tool. And that's all within this RK Tools folder. Alright, so you're going to open the website and instructions. Start RK Android Batch Upgrade from RK Tools. Okay. Alright, we opened it. There you go. RK 2818 Batch Upgrade. Alrighty, let's minimize this so I can see the other directions power off your tablet okay right now my tablet is powered off I know you can't see it but it is it's the SL7 press and hold backslash escape key well on the SL7 you have a power a menu and an escape key so what you're gonna do is hold the escape key while holding the escape key, you will connect the mini USB to the device. Keep holding the escape key, connect the device to the computer, and then you'll hear a dum, and then let off on the escape key. Now, you see in the right corner, mine's already turned green. Okay, that's because I already have the drivers installed. But if this is the first time, like this says right here, you'll have to install the driver. Now, my computer would not automatically install the driver. What you will have to do is down here, you know, it says safely remove hardware. It'll show that your device is connected. It'll just say, like, unknown device. Click on your start. Right-click, my computer. I'm on Windows XP, but you can do this for Windows Vista, Windows 7. It, it just looks a little different, but it's pretty much the exact same. Right click my computer, click manage. Computer management will pop up. Click on device manager. Okay, right here. It should be at the top. You should see something that looks exactly like this. It has two things. It'll say like something and it'll say unknown device. Mine right now says RK281X device. Yes, but yours will say unknown device. Right click on it. Um, it should say like install driver. Mine, of course, says update driver because it's already installed. But just click on, you know, update driver or install driver. Welcome to Hardware Update Wizard. Now, for Windows Vista 107, this looks a little different, but you need to get to the point where it says install from a list or specific location. Click on that. Click next. Now, you will need to browse for the file. Search for best drivers in these locations. Leave that. Leave all that checked. Click Browse. Mine's already there, but 
wherever you installed Arcade Tools, mine was on the desktop. 